June the 17th, I believe it is. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm putting this into the same video as uh, the last lake I was just on. I was on a mystery lake this morning and uh, did, did well, I think it was good. I got a five pounder largemouth, first largemouth of the year and uh, it was a five pounder, so that was pretty cool and got a few smallies in there too. Now I'm headed to another mystery lake that's further to the north, about half hour, and I'm gonna pop the canoe in there. Now this lake, um, I haven't had experience on either of these lakes really at all, so um, this one I've been studying on Navionics a bit and uh, also discovered that there's been rainbow trout stocked in it in 2010. So I've got a big rainbow trout colored uh, S Waver 200 tied on. That'd be kind of fun to catch a bass on. And I've got my other baits tied on, so we'll see if we can't come into a Fisher 3 or 4. Yeah, it should be a fun adventure. Come along. To get to Secret Lakes, this is what you got to do. Very nice. Okay. Here we are. Loaded up, rigged up. Ready for lake number two. Okay, first cast on Mystery Lake number two. It is dead calm again. Beautiful day. Let's hope the smallies will be biting. There's largemouth fishing around the other side of this island, I think. Looks like kind of shallow and weedy over there. If this uh, hump here doesn't work out, I may go straight over there and see if I can get some frog fish. Frogfish, guys, that's cool. Yes, took that guy out. That's awesome. Oh, good, you are recording. That's awesome. Man, that's a good fish, guys. That's awesome. I stuck them hard. <laughs> All right. 
Nice frogfish, guys. Live target frog. Super shallow back here. I wasn't too sure if <sighs> they'd be back this shallow yet or not, but apparently they are. Nice fish. That's heavy too, probably three pounds or so. That's good. I'll take it. Guys, I'm in this back bay over here. And I mean, that largemouth three pounder was just sitting in probably a foot of water right in the little cove you saw where I threw my frog in. A picture perfect spot like that, you have to throw it in every single time. That's why I turned the camera on when I did because I expected a bite to come from there. It's just, it just looks too good. It looks too bassy. I wasn't sure if there'd be bass in here right now, but uh, they certainly seem to be. So let's do some more frog and see what we can get. I want to see if there's another one in there. Ah, missed him guys. I figured there'd be another one in here. He didn't grab it too good it seems. Or it was a smaller fish or something. What type of weird conglomeration this is. It's keeping my canoe in place though, so I can frog a bit. No other hits on the frog yet, guys. I've only moved about 20 feet down. Seems like those pencil reeds were holding the fish. Maybe pencil reeds are the deal. And there's a whole ton of them on the other side. I might just move over there. Another frogfish, guys. Not as big at all. <laughs> Still fun, though. That's cool. Ah, nuts. Just a little guy, I think. Slapped at it. That's the frustrations of frog fishing sometimes. <laughs> Little guy again. I want him to go get his big brother.
I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a young baby loon with mama loon right there. The baby's just on its tail end. That's really cool. I haven't seen a baby loon before. spot. I passed by it on my way in and I thought I'd stop by on the way back. It's about 5.30, I'm heading back. I'll do a summary once I'm back at the cabin, but I'm tired out. It was a good day though. This is a nice way to end the day. Well, I'm back at the cabin. That was a good day. That was a really fun day. I got to explore two different lakes. I got to use the canoe. I got to use the canoe for the reason that I bought it for, and that's to do exactly this. Drive to different lakes, explore them, um, and catch some good fish. So I'm tired though. I'm, I'm tired as ever. It was a long day. Long day in the sun with no wind at all. It was just dead calm. The second lake that I went to, I was expecting to find smallmouth there. But uh, it was so dead calm, and the water had just probably skyrocketed in temperature. So I, I don't know where the smallies went. I targeted a bunch of offshore humps and um, steep, steep break lines and, and points and stuff like that. I tried all that textbook type stuff, and there just wasn't any uh, smallmouth action on the second lake. But that's okay. Got some on the first lake, and I got some largemouth on the second lake. So it was a great day. That five pound largemouth came on a mega bass pot max in a secret gill color, I believe it's called. Half ounce bait. It walks and pops and chugs. It's, it's a really great bait. I think it's my new favorite topwater bait now. And um, the smallmouth were caught on a jerk bait. It was a Dual Realis 100DR. The frog I used was a live target frog. It was the middle size one, whatever that is. I think it's two and a half inches long or something like that. I think it's five eighths of an ounce. But the big thing with it is it has the green back and the orange belly. The orange belly is key. I find that the bass just inhale that frog. When they, if they're not touching a white belly or a black belly, I just, I, I have confidence in that orange belly. So if you don't have one, definitely get one in your arsenal. The live target ones are nice and soft and they're, they're really, really good quality. So definitely advise getting some of those. I'm going to try and get some editing done and try and get some sleep. I'm going to call my wife sometime, tell her I'm still alive. And yeah, I need a good night's sleep. I haven't had much sleep lately. Thanks so much for coming along today. Very much appreciated. If you're still watching, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And tune in for the next adventure. See you later. Mm -hmm.